Hey, what's up everybody? Thank you for checking me out. My name is Eko Simpson. I'm a Ghanaian um, and I live in Ghana. Well, you are watching this channel because somebody introduced you to it. It was recommended or suggested to you on YouTube. Basically, my YouTube channel is to connect Africans and the motherland to Africans in the diaspora. So, thank you for checking me out. If this is your first time of watching my videos, kindly subscribe to my YouTube channel. Friends, the family, how was it like? To move, to finally say, yo. When we decided to move, it was, it was almost an immediate decision. Yeah, okay. We, we, they just killed another one of our, our brothers and which was this one the Atlanta, this was before the Atlanta one it was just they took another one of our lives uh, we were on lock we were in COVID kind of like a semi lockdown mm -hmm. um, our business has folded because of COVID and there was back to back police killing within two weeks and then I hit that point I was like it, I'm just looking at all the people <laughs> but it hit that point I was like let's go Okay. Why are we still here? Mm -hmm. We've been researching it and toying around with the idea, like I yeah. said, for over a whole year. Okay. Um, we, we really totally was focused on Ghana, and then we stopped mm -hmm. at one point. And in my mind, we just stopped looking at Africa altogether. Mm -hmm. But then when that hit, it was like the God was telling us, now's the time. Now's the time. So um, provisions within 90 we so we decided that had to be about November. November. And I was like, okay. I knew how to get them. I said, <laughs> let's go for my birthday. Yeah. <laughs> you know, let's say no to the birthday situation. <laughs> and, um, and that was November. We went for a week in Tanzania and okay. then a week here. Right. We came here to find a place. Mm -hmm. We've been watching other YouTubers mm -hmm. since we decided in November to come total following youtubers journey in mm -hmm. Rwanda mm -hmm. for like the next two months no. every day all yeah. day just documenting yeah. writing everything, everything they said down, yeah. writing all the notes taking notes mm -hmm. everything they said was like our bible okay. I mean I have a book that yeah. had like 20 yeah. pages filled out mm -hmm. from how to do it at the RDB you have to take the airport how to yeah. quarantine how yeah. to do this and do that all of that so it was it, it was easy because they gave us the blueprint already. Already. Okay. So when we came, we pretty much went. I already was sold. I was ready to go. Mm -hmm. We talked to the moms. They were ready to go. Um, the girls wanted to go. Oh, okay. He wanted to make sure it was what exactly what we were seeing on YouTube. Mm -hmm. So we came for just that quick trip. Okay. And when we came, we went and looked for a house. We found our house. Um, we met a couple people out here, a couple friends. Mm -hmm. We went home and started packing. Okay. Immediately. <laughs> Literally. Just like that. Literally. Brother. Literally. <laughs> Literally. Was, well, we right. packed, mm -hmm. sold everything we had, and within, so that was January, within 90 days, we were out. Well, well, yes, absolutely. Yep. Welcome to the motherland. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> so you come in, what was the main idea, I mean, apart from leaving those people to, to deal with themselves, mm -hmm. was the idea to come set up a business, get a work? or start something else. All of it. How, how, yeah. All of it. I mean, we, 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 we figure, you know, listen, we're, le we're headed this way. We're not, we have no intentions of turning back. Mm -hmm. So we have to consider all aspects of living. Okay. How are we going to survive? Mm -hmm. how, this is, you know, you know, this is not like a phone call to <laughs> a family member, mm -hmm. you know, a state or two over. Yeah. This is across, across. the waters here. Yeah. So, so we have to consider because we have to consider every aspect of our life and our living. You mm -hmm. understand, and knowing that the living that we were adjusting to in the states was like it was it was a it was like oppression. Mm -hmm. It was a struggle. It was stress. We did not want to carry that with us. So we've always had ambitions, you know, entrepreneurial mm -hmm. ambitions because mm -hmm. we worked as entrepreneurs yeah. while we we're in the states. Yeah. And the ease of business here in Rwanda. Mm -hmm was very appealing okay to where we okay we always had planned and even moved toward establishing this here mm -hmm. in the states but mm -hmm. there was no ease of business <laughs> it was you know, difficult it, it was very difficult mm -hmm. and so when we came to visit as my wife was saying and we 
we're checking off all these things they, they measured out. And so we knew that we could come mm -hmm. and that we could move forward. Not realizing though it would happen so fast. So fast. That part we didn't expect. <laughs> <laughs> so how long how long has this been in existence? This has been open this is about the the tenth week. Yeah. No, I thought No, we've two only years been ago? here for six months. Oh, no. And you already have this? Yeah, we wow. have this. <laughs> <laughs> right, grace yeah. of God, wow, wow. beautiful, you. beautiful. I like, I like the whole, Thank you. the whole thing, the whole vibe. Yeah. So, Ikawa Cafe. Mm -hmm. Tell us a little bit about it. What you serve here, and who are the audience? Well, um, the name itself, Ikawa, which means coffee. Mm -hmm. You know, so, you know, coffee, specialty coffee, specialty mm -hmm. juices. Mm -hmm. Uh, my wife is a certified chef, wow. so the bistro portion of it, uh, there's very, very delectable items on the menu, which comes directly from her, Beautiful. and the instruction given to uh, the cooks who are all around it. Mm -hmm. So the, the beautiful thing, and this is amazing even to me, you know, that these individuals uh, make and prepare these meals that are really more... Uh, Black American influence, mm -hmm. and they've never seen these this type of food before. Yeah. But they make it, they make it, and it's it's delicious, <laughs> you know. So that that you know that in part is indicative of her mm -hmm. and her skill set and her instruction, mm -hmm. but also their ability to receive, to receive. and construct and boom, put exactly. it forward. So it's a beautiful thing, and that act in and of itself, because when you think of food, you think of you know, you think of people coming together. Food brings yeah. people together. together. Yeah. So you have two different cultures coming together because of food. Because of food. <laughs> you know. So right. that's a that's a that's mm -hmm. a that's a match, a beautiful match uh, in and of itself. So um, she can give you the menu because she comes out of her brain and she can bring all that <laughs> stuff down. You know, but uh, she can she can definitely tell you better than I can. But the the food portion <laughs> is the bonus. Okay. The, 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 that was the original goal. Mm -hmm. Let's come and bring the Black American experience, mm -hmm. the food, the books, the mm -hmm. music, mm -hmm. um, and, and try to integrate both of them, mm -hmm. both cultures mm -hmm. together. Right. But what we're learning now is that the mission, that was our mission, right. but the spiritual mission alone was really something different. Something different. We believe that God wanted us to be the example and to show the the rest of the world or black Americans that we have options. Yeah. You know, we don't have to continue living under the oppression that we've been living under. Yeah. Even though it appears if you just see us from the outside, mm -hmm. oh they got nice houses and nice cars yeah. and they live in the life. No, there's a lot more that goes into goes that. Into you know, there's a lot of fear tactics that's put on you as a people. Mm -hmm. There's a lot of don't know if my husband gonna come home at night yeah. type of energy every day. So when you finally get fed up, you will be able to look and see even on our channel mm -hmm. that these people did it with very little. Yeah. And not only did they do it, they are showing us how to do how, it. How they do it. And they're showing us that we have options. Mm -hmm. It don't have to be Rhonda. Okay. You know, we've studied other countries. Mm -hmm study other African countries yeah. and find your your peace. Mm -hmm. What calls your spirit? Where are you able to thrive at? Where are you able to connect with? Mm -hmm. But don't just not even look. When these, this continent alone is calling for their people to come back home. They need us as much as we need we them. Need, yeah. So it's, it's for us, it's a reminder mm -hmm. that our purpose is greater than the financial aspect That's of the Ikawa Cafe. So we have black Americans, we don't even say black Americans, we have expats, expats yeah. that comes in from Jamaica, from the UK, mm -hmm. from Germany, uh, Germany okay. from London, London. Um, Canada mm -hmm. last week, right. and all over the US, and they meet here. Whoa. They want to come here, and they come and get valuable resources. Mm -hmm. We're able to help guide them on their journey, yeah. and a lot of them, they're coming here first, and then they go into the next spot and the next spot mm -hmm. and the next spot. But they get to come and see for themselves what Rhonda has to That's offer. Right. And we 
supply yeah. that that type of atmosphere where mm -hmm. you walk in and then another expat come in and mm -hmm. another mm -hmm. Rondis come in yeah. and now we're networking. networking. Now they they have resources and they have information that can help us on this journey. Right. So that's what Ecolo Cafe is now, okay. the hub for for expats yes, and 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 Rondis people to connect. Well, wow. that is that is way deeper than just seeing coffee, just seeing the yeah. food. Yeah. It's a deep feeling to, to the whole thing. That's what we, we, we have to hold on to that. Because okay. in, in 10 weeks, we're still in the middle of COVID. So you can see it's very slow. Yeah. And you start getting doubt in your mind. And then you have to remind yourself so, yeah. that right. this purpose is greater than you. It's greater, right? Yeah. It's greater than you. Exactly. Yeah. If you're watching this and you're coming to Rwanda, there's a place for you to come connect, yeah. learn, and do a lot. So how do people locate this place? How do we locate here? Um, you know, we are, we're on a different social media handles, okay. uh, Facebook, uh, Instagram. Uh, we hadn't done a TikTok, as we don't understand that quite yet. <laughs> <laughs> you can just but, do a dance. Yeah, you know, TikTok, uh, Facebook, Instagram, um, YouTube. YouTube, because okay. we have a, as a YouTuber, so we have a YouTube channel as well. And those are the main main sources, but then of course being here and utilizing the WhatsApp. Our, our YouTube name is the Residential Tours. Residential, like you know, you live there. Yeah, residential. Uh, and then you can, if you wanted to come into Kigali, mm -hmm. we actually have an Airbnb. Okay. Yeah. So our Airbnb is under the house in the bay, and then uh, the YouTube channel is the Residential Tours. And we pretty much have documented our journey all the way from Atlanta to, to Kigali, to Rwanda. And some of the fun things that we've done here, um, some of our trials that we've been through, mm -hmm. some of our victories that we've had. So you'll be able to see all of that on our channel. That's it. Absolutely. Beautiful. So your last word to the diaspora community out there watching. Your last word to them. Let's unite. Let's come together. You know, let's uh, connect, not just physically, but let's connect with mind and spirit. And let's allow ourselves to grow and to develop into that which we are intended and designed to be. Africa is a great, great continent. But those of us who come from, the, uh, from America in the Black American experience, one of the things that I would always share with my wife prior to us leaving is that Although, you know, there's traumatic uh, occurrences that took place that were very, uh, very disheartening and very troubling, you know, but when you sit back and you think about it, we were still able to persevere. Yeah. And so it is the experiences that we have gained even in those troubling times that we can bring and we can offer to our brothers and sisters here on the continent and we can open ourselves to receive that which they maintain and that they have and we could become a united force yeah so that's that's what i would say right now that's on my spirit right now <laughs> ask me tomorrow i might say something else exactly. but definitely let's come together let's unite and let's be the original people that we are don't believe the hype don't believe what they told you about africa don't believe what we've been taught what Africa is, or even was, is we don't even know half the stuff they told us was the truth. What I can tell you is what I'm seeing with my own eyes. Africa is beautiful. The opportunities are endless. And you cannot compare one continent to another. You cannot compare what is going on in the States to what's going on here in Africa. Uh, people ask questions about malaria about uh security and it's almost mind-blowing because if we ask questions about the things that's going in the u.s we would stop asking those silly questions <laughs> oh my goodness <laughs> security from who and what um look don't believe the hype if you have the opportunity or if you know how to create the opportunity because that's what we did we didn't have the opportunity we created the opportunity to get out do it and pick your country 
It's 54 of them over here. Yes. Pick one. Pick one that fits you. Just pick one so we can come busy. Right. Just pick one. Right, so thank you very much for checking us out. Put up a comment. Uh, I will leave the email address and the WhatsApp and then social media handles in the description. You can just contact them and then you take it from there. Thank you very much for thank you. my channel. <laughs> thank you.